19. What are the delays? I think our challenge is on the issues of maintenance and operations. Other than that, we have had challenges on and around the capacity of the water available for the community of Madibeng in general. The capacity of water treatment plant there is 60 um, uh, megaliters and they are upgrading it, adding up 20 more megaliters. It will have the capacity of 80 megaliters soon, but you would also know that that project was disrupted when the locals demanded their share on the program. Despite the increase that is being made, the demand is that we must have 120 megaliters for the whole area of Madibay. We have had boreholes installed, but the challenge also is that uh, the boreholes are not being maintained. And since the relationship between Madibay municipality and Mahali's water board collapsed, but we are making redress in terms of uh, reorientating the a relationship and we have had the instruction from the minister that we must hand over water services of Madibeng to Mahalis and we are doing exactly that. Uh, the process is unfolding. But when the uh, municipality decided to connect many of our villages to the existing uh, water supply system there, uh, it had the design limitations of up to 60 megaliters, and we are experiencing challenge. Where they are using the uh, old uh, systems, we have a problem with it because you would realize that some of the uh, maintenance did not happen for almost 10 years, and the asbestos pipes are cracking. We only get to see that when the law of the, the, the water is having a low pressure and the leaking pipes are absorbing system and it. Um, you speak about making redress to fix the relationship. Uh, I'm sure you'll agree with me that uh, this situation is completely unacceptable. Uh, you are denying residents a basic, a basic human right. They have no access to water and also at a very dangerous time. What are you going to be doing to ensure that they have water? And why have you not made these contingency plans to ensure that they do have water? Especially as we know that Madibeng has been um, highlighted as a hotspot when it comes to the new COVID-19 surge? We are, we are making water immediately available through some form of tankering to provide relief. The constructor at the site for the upgrading of, uh, to 80 megaliter would assume work. The whole of the water services at Ma Madibeng would be handed over to Mahalis. We have said within the next 30 to 60 days, that should be completed with a deadline being at the end of February. So what's happening to the residents as we speak? There is a provision of what a, a tankering that is being made, which is a temporary relief because in all of the areas where we have a long, multiple year or long term projects unfolding, the temporary supply is being made. In July, the Auditor General painted a very grim picture of the Madibeng municipality amid the mounting financial and governance challenges there. Let's talk about uh, the current situation when it comes to the governance of the municipality, especially as we know that it's also uh, placed under administration. You know, how is this affecting the, the rollout of services to ensure that there is indeed service delivery in that municipality? 
I think the administration is beginning to add positive impetus. You would realize that even if we have a problems on and around water, there is a regional bulk infrastructure grant and the water infrastructure service grant that is underspending on and around five to six percent. It is also for this reason that we have uh, reinforced our administration there. We have moved to appoint a municipal manager. We have conducted uh, interviews and we are hoping that on and around February we'd have the full component of management in place. I think the situation deteriorated when senior managers post were vacant. And of course it is one of the concern raised by the AG and we agreed and we are making redress because we have advertised posts, we have interviewed people, they are being uh, subjected to competency tests and on the basis of the results of competency tests, we'd appoint the manager there, we'll have the CFO appointed, we'd have a technical director and the other senior managers in place. With, with all these decisions that are being made, what sort of time frames are we looking at? Because uh, really taking a look at the depth of the Auditor General's report, it really shows that um, the, the environment, uh, the, the governance environment and the bank account certainly of the municipality is vulnerable to misappropriation of funds, wastage and abuse of money. Yes, we agree that we will complete the process uh, the latest date on which we should have all, the last manager assuming responsibility there is the 1st of March. We expect that those who would be given offers would assume duty as early as February. And secondly, we agree that uh, the challenges at Madiben, like in many other municipalities, is on and around issue of project planning and implementation and the challenges around cash flow where funds are available are being utilized on areas that do not necessarily support basic services. And we are confident that with our intervention, we have reorientated the systems there to the point that they will be responsive to the needs of the people and understanding the, the need to work on the priorities that form part of the basic service to our people. So the... Uh, the Department of Water and Sanitation has its own internal uh, uh, infrastructure unit that we would want to utilize, and I'm hoping they are working on redressing on their own internal capacities. But even the water boards themselves would have to improve as we have engaged them on their own internal capacity, because even when you uh, delegated some form of work to them, they would still get that work uh, advertised. Um, outside for the external service provider. So we, we are doing some intervention at the level of the provincial government, even if the issue of water is a national mandate and schedule four and five of the constitution does not make it the responsibility of the provincial government, but it locates the municipality at the center in the form of the municipal being the water authority and the uh, service provider on and around issues of water. The provincial government has made available 180 million to complement the allocations that are being made by national in the form of those grants. But also we will be seeking to repurpose some percentage, maybe up to 10% of the 400 million available of the municipal infrastructure grant for the purposes of water. Once that is done, would for this financial year have on and around 380 million. The issue is the on and around matters of project implementation. And that is why I'm saying even on the grants, there is a serious underexpenditure, but we have involved the water board we have spoken to Department of Water and Sanitation, and we are hoping that the implementation water project will be shared amongst all other role players already. Has appointed the manual infrastructure support agents, which has already appointed a consultant and service providers who would be complementing the work of the municipality because we cannot accept that 
welfare, we have funds, and we cannot use funds for its purpose. Or where the money allocated were used for alternative uh, purposes and not water so. Whereas we are going to resolve the issue of water over a period of time, because many of our projects are multiple year projects, we will immediately make available water in the form of tankery uh, for the relief. And we would not have anyone going to bed without water or waking up without getting water to and, and, and at the center of our interview. For the sake of time, um, let me just quickly squeeze in this question to you. You speak about the availability of these water tankers, but we know that uh, some residents have complained uh, for uh, with, with access to these water tanks, saying that uh, they sometimes locked in a community library and they have no access. Uh, how are you going to ensure that it is accessible to all residents? I mean, um, and also just talk to us very quickly about uh, the rollout and where you are You are focusing when it comes to ensuring that people have uh, access to these tanks? One of the areas that we will be moving in quickly is Le Tabong, which have multiple boreholes that have existed but are not uh, operational. is because of issues of maintenance and the water would be immediately available. We are completing projects in the area of breads. The challenge there is the protest by the locals who demand some form of their interest, but also vandalism and stealing of cables. So the challenges where water existed is, is disrupted by the uh, stealing of the cables and, and vandalism, but we are also deploying security personnel at those, co uh, at those corners. Uh, the water tankers, uh, those who supply water, they are themselves also demanding their share and getting matters seriously complicated, but we have said it's fine. Where we supply water in a particular village, let the supplier be from that village so that we can have that tank has also protected and taken care of the village. Because if you bring the service provider outside of that village, they disrupt that supply of tanks. They are even make able to make that water dirty. So the community themselves, to some extent, contribute to our crisis, but we are resolving on it because the supply would be where the communities want. We are deploying tanks where the community is able to access it.